welcome back to the channel so i am back at mule uh back from scotland back from willowfields and all that sort of stuff and i'm now back to doing some upgrades on the van so the first upgrade i'm going to be doing is repairing this down here uh that is my electric hookup point not that i use it very often but it I'm not happy with it. Basically, the flap uh, broke, so I've had to put some tape behind it just to stick that down. But it doesn't look tidy, doesn't look neat, and all that sort of stuff. So I've decided to upgrade it. So what I've purchased is this whale um, electric hookup point, which means I'm going to have to cut a bigger hole into here, slightly bigger, get that wired up. And basically, this is. Let me just stop and show you. This is one of those ones that slides up and then slides back down so that will replace that uh, so that needs to be done in the next couple of weeks uh, so next upgrade let's go underneath the van this is uh, underneath the booth van so in the distance there you can see uh, what was my leaf springs over here uh, they are sorry my bump stops up there Jesus is crap um, yeah I replaced them so I took out the standard bump stops uh, made a bit of a hash job of it that so basically what you can see is uh, we've welded some plates in and galvanized all that up at the top and then literally with the uh, massive heavy-duty sumo springs fitted them in uh, to the van so that's one of the upgrades that we've done as well the heavy duty sumo springs well they like i said they've been rewelded in the plates and all that sort of stuff um it gives me i know that everybody's different and all that sort of stuff but for me uh it allows or as i find when i used to have original bump stops uh on the van the there was a gap between like the axle the rear axle and all that sort of stuff and the bumps up so when you hit a bump it was kind of like the the force was greater as it was about to hit the bump stop and because there were only short bump stops it was wasn't slowing the force down especially when you got a converted van that's my opinion so like we've upgraded them to the big sumo springs the heavy duties and they're longer which means they sit onto the axle all the time i find uh, last weekend when I drove the van for the first time after fitting them that literally they hold and cushion better as I'm driving so it just gives for me a better feel and I have the sumo springs on the front as well so that with the lift kit that I've had on mule and the heavy duty leaf springs that I've got uh, double leaf springs and the sumo springs just finishes off uh, the ride for me however what I am going to do is so I'm going to add some Bill Stein built for performance, engineered for performance uh, rear shock absorbers. So one of the days this week, uh, hopefully before the weekend, I'm going to get the van jacked up, get the wheels off, take out the original oil shocks that uh, came with the van. They've been on there for a couple of years. Uh, one of them is misting, uh, which means it's leaking oil so these are performance gas struts um shocks for the back so i'm literally going to put them on i'll leave a link if anybody's interested for these uh <clears throat> they come to i think it's 225 pound for a set uh, of these bill stein rear shocks um, and i'm hoping that they will make a massive difference as well and what my overarching aim was want to get them the, the overland look and to make the van perform better overland as such although i haven't tested that as yet but so far so good like i said got double leaf springs so i've upgraded to them a couple of years ago put the sumo springs on now gonna get the new rear shocks on the back and so on and so on so more upgrades to come and hopefully uh, in time we'll see a change in performance as well so yeah the rear shocks there old you can see some uh, oil that has leaked from the back of the rear shocks and obviously you can see the sumo springs where we've welded a plate 
and galvanise that so that won't rust underneath there. So massive difference to there. You see there as well. So one of the things I keep saying, I think I'm going to do, I, like, I've got the paint, the Raptor paint in black. Uh, I'm hope, I've just got finished sanding these off a bit more. Uh, they're never going to be level, uh, but these panels here, uh, which come off the windows, are going to be painted in Raptor black, along with these panels here, along. So it's going to be a line that comes all the way around wraps and then goes to uh, the side door as well, which means this here, uh, which is why I've had to buy a black one because obviously you want to replace Raptor or this as well, this panel. So it comes all the way down to the side door and that will be replaced as well at some stage. More work. Thing that you probably can't see, uh, I had a, what was tile edging. I used that as a rain gutter, uh, but all I've done is bought some uh, J channel, uh, had that powder coat in black. So that is now on. You're in a city, so noise. So that is now on, that's now setting. So yeah, up here is uh, an, like a J channel. Uh, that's setting. Now that was, I've cleaned all that up. I've used a, a debonding agent uh, to take off all the old super flex and all that sort of stuff. So cleaned all that up. That is uh, the new J channel in powder coat in black. So that will just finish that side off as well. Make it look neater and tidier from the rash job. That I did so yeah that's coming soon at some stage uh, in the next couple weeks months uh, hopefully a, a mule roof rack will be on um, so that will go on at some stage as well which will just hide everything and then I am planning to buy some new lights to fit alongside the roof rack and tidy all that up as well that's gonna be cool uh, another job I've got is I've had this sun visor on for quite some time now uh, if you were to look underneath probably can't see it but that is just rusted to hell so one of the things I'm gonna have to do is is clean all this up uh, take this off clean it all up seal up the old holes with probably some um, self taping screws paddock coat in black so that tidies all that up see signs of rust and all that sort of stuff this is the second time I've had to take this off and fill it in and seal it but it's just rusting to hell uh, I want to tidy it all up so that's gonna come off into here a snorkel fitted again that will give me the overland look uh, and gets rid of that sun visor uh, one of the things I then plan to do is some tinting to the glass windows get them tinted a bit darker as well and then i'm going to be wrapping the bonnet with some black wrap that's going to be wrapped black so sun visor off snorkel on that side and so on and then the final thing uh, that i'm going to be doing is nothing i'm going to be doing is literally um i think a dash cam uh although i have a osmo action that faces out all the time, but I don't leave that on recording all the time because it takes up quite a lot of space. So I'm going to be fitting a dash gun and I have been sent one uh, and I'll leave the description and all that sort of stuff. So that's got to be uh, hardwired in at some stage. It can be run off USB, but that will be look fitted in on the dash at some stage as well. What I've been sent, the uh, Viafo, I think that's what it's called, A19 Mini 2 uh, dash cam that records um, multiple, a lot of footage, 2K HDR, which is good enough for me. Uh, they kindly sent me a memory card and they've given me this hardwire kit as well, but also comes with like a polarizing filter for the dash cam and a Bluetooth uh, remote control, which is pretty cool. So. That will be mounted onto the dashboard over here somewhere uh, by the windscreen, hardwired in, so then that records um, all what I need. Uh, probably don't mention all the time, I bought the um, Amazon, what are they? Cameras 
exactly normal they are but literally i i fitted them i, I was going to use these for the outside because they are the outdoor version um i tried them when i was in scotland really quick uh probably wasn't the best time to try that so what i've done is i fitted them in here um there's one there there's one there so that covers the inside of the van what i also have done i fitted one that side of the cab and then on this side there is another one so little HD cameras, think cameras are what they called. Uh, so they come all through the app and all that sort of stuff. So, so we're doing a lot to the van. Uh, since I've been at Mule, obviously we've got the wheel carrier. I've had the lift kit. Um, I've got myself some new wheels. I've gone for a bigger tire, which is a 245-75 R16. Um, I've done loads to be honest so obviously now with the new sumo springs gonna be fitting a new shocks gonna be putting a new electric hookup point gonna be painting all this uh, the security cameras uh, a dash cam um, yeah the list just goes on with upgrades uh, and obviously like I said in at some stage as well there's loads more upgrades taking the sun visor off putting the snorkel on uh, wrapping the bonnet and then eventually we'll have a mule roof rack along with a new rain gutter. Um, I have, I am as well uh, planning to have some uh, updated um, testing done on these. Uh, so these are all going to come out at some stage. The front and the rears are coming out and they're going to be uh, redesigned by the kind people Ross and Diane because they're lovely. At webnet fly screens they are going to be redesigning them and basically what I'm gonna what I'm now gonna be doing is this zip here is gonna be coming over to the door which will allow me to swivel um, and that's all in thinking with my long-term plan of changing like I said before uh, the seat area into the kitchen and where the kitchen is into the seat area um, which basically means I can then with that seating all down there and then the passenger seats with all it just gives me more of an open plan uh, like living room seating area and all that sort of stuff uh, so yeah they're gonna be had a really good chat with them this weekend so they've agreed to do that for me as well so that's great and we'll get that done ready for winter uh, and all of this is what I want to get done before uh, winter when I finish work and head back to Scotland again in winter so lots to do lots to get done uh, in between work but it's going to be amazing when it's all done and I hope you like it as well and if you've got any technical questions or any questions you want to ask me about the blink cameras the sumo springs the mule lift kit the bigger tires the dash cam all that sort of stuff and I'll leave product links for all, everything that I use in the description uh, then just pop me a comment and I hope you give me a thumbs up or a like or just leave us a comment and see how we're doing and uh, yeah, we'll all see you as we slowly get all these upgrades finished over the next couple of months. Stay safe, everyone. Take care, and we'll see you on the road soon. Bye-bye. I'm going to say hello. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Uh, I was going to fit in this when I did my rebuild. It's an induction cooker. cooker uh, Sterling, 1,500 watt. 1, watt uh, really good induction cooker but i've decided now i'm going to stick with gas so if anybody's interested give me a shout uh it's going cheap uh 50 quid and if you pay the post and packaging or come to mule vans and collect it it's all yours but that's for sale as well if anybody's interested because i no longer need it